He was just a bundle of joy. He was a lot of fun to be around. Two-year-old Trenton Duckett went missing nine years ago on August 27th, 2006. It's hard for me to look at the pictures and see him as an 11-year-old. Vanished from his mother's home without a trace and without a struggle. Suspicion pointed to the 21-year-old parents, Melinda and Josh Duckett, who were going through a bitter divorce and custody battle. She had reported him missing and she had told them that I took him. Almost 18 hours I went through questioning. While Josh cooperated with the investigation, evidence started to stack up against the mother's story, like a fake email she shared with the Leesburg police that claimed her husband threatened to hurt her and their son. She logged into his account. Suspecting she was trying to frame her husband, investigators took a closer look at Trenton's bedroom where Melinda said her son was taken through a cut in the window screen. There was no disturbance on the ground outside. Uh, of the window. It just didn't match with somebody taking the child. Melinda was studying criminal psychology and at the same time she was being investigated for embezzling thousands of dollars from the bank where she worked. Melinda was the only suspect in the in the case. But there was still no sign or scent of their two-year-old son Trenton. We were trying to follow her and talk to her. Almost two weeks after Trenton's disappearance, Melinda agreed to appear on the Nancy Grace show for an interview. She asked questions that legitimately needed to be answered. But that interview didn't go as Melinda had planned. She wasn't being portrayed as the victim that she wanted to be. Soon after the interview, Melinda killed herself with a shotgun. Leesburg police lost their only suspect. I really do think that she just killed herself because she was no longer the victim and she still just didn't want Josh to have him. We're basically at a dead standstill. We're nine years into it and we're no closer to getting any kind of answers than we were back in 2006. Today, Josh continues to host candlelight vigils for Trenton and raise awareness for other missing children. There's hundreds and hundreds of them. If we bring one child home, it's a success. Leesburg police say Trenton's case is still active and open. Yet Josh says he hopes another investigating unit will take a look at the case in hopes of one day bringing Trenton home. The hard part is the not knowing. In Leesburg, Amanda McKenzie, News 13.